My name is Adam Michan, I'm a singer, songwriter, and vocal coach, and today I'm gonna show you how to access your whistle register. Be sure to check out my new singing course where I teach you to take your voice from this when a man loves a woman to this. Run, run, lost boy, they say to me. Just so you guys know a little background, whistle register was not something I was dying to be able to sing in. For me, it was something that kind of came as I progressed more as a vocalist and my voice became freer and freer. The first thing you need to know about Whistle Register is that it's not going to be accessed with force. It's something that is very, very easy, very light, doesn't require a lot of effort. So it should be something that is not pushed or forced or made to happen. A great way to start accessing it is to use vocal fry and try to slip up into your higher register while on a vocal fry. So what you're gonna do is And so if you really relax, allow it to just totally be free, you'll find a place in your voice where the vocal cords stay together with that vocal fry and they almost slip into this higher register in your voice. So give that a try over the next little while. If you notice based on my facial expression and based on kind of my body language, there's very little effort here to be able to slip up there. That's why I like to use the word slip because it's almost like you're stumbling upon it. It's not something that you're forcing. The next exercise that can potentially help you get into whistle register is a sound. What you want to do is make a B-W-O-O-P sound and almost try to imagine like a water dropping. Whoop, 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 whoop. And try to find that up in your head register. And as you're doing it, try to just move up around in your range. Whoop, 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 whoop. What you'll find is that the air pressure that's created when we make this sound allows for the vocal cords to come together very easily without much effort. And the final thing I want to give you that can help you access your whistle register for the first time is something called reverse phonation. Reverse phonation is simply sucking inwards as opposed to blowing out when we're making sound. So the sound sounds like this. And so a lot of people find it much, much easier to hit whistle notes when they're sucking inwards as opposed to blowing out. So a good way for you to get a feel for what it feels like for your body to create a whistle tone is to go and feel what it feels like when you're doing that and try to recreate it on the way out. So give that a try, have fun with it. Don't push anything, don't force anything. If anything hurts, you're doing it wrong. Hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more of these videos, hit the subscribe button. Next to it, hit the bell so you get notifications when new videos come out. With all that said, I'll see you guys in the next video.